Hello, it's Josh again. Today we're going to be continuing the series of videos about the weird applications of BNC terminated cables by taking a look at setting up a 10 base 2 network. Now 10 base 2 is the second iteration of the 10 base network standard and by as the name implies it runs at 10 megabit speeds or about 1.25 megabytes per second. It's not that fast, but remember this is late 1980s sort of stuff. I don't know, modems were much more common. This is a sort of like an internal network sort of thing. 10 base 2 uses a coaxial cable with a uh, BNC end to it, and it was, well, it predates uh, Ethernet like uh, using RJ45. It, it was the standard used before. Out of the Three original 10 base standards. There was 10 base 5, which used the uh, the AUI connector. 10 base 2, which was a cheaper version of it, which, as I've already said, it used B and C and coax cables. And all of those were replaced by uh, Ethernet, which lives on today. Now we're going to be setting up the network to connect to this. This is my uh, Windows 98 system. It's a Pentium 2, 512 megabytes of RAM. NVIDIA T and, uh, Reva TNT2. Now the reason we're using the uh, Windows 98 machine is because it actually has a network card that has um, compatibility for 10 base 2. It also has compatibility for the 10 base 5, but I don't have any 10 base 5 equipment, so uh, we're not going to be doing that today. As for other things that have been installed, we have a Sound Bluster PCI 128. Some PCM CI expansion card that I haven't been able to get up to work yet. A USB 2 card, which I don't know if it works because I haven't tested it. And the uh, aforementioned Reva 2 TNT. As for actually setting up the network, it's much less daunting than you might first expect. All you really need is your coax cable with a BNC connector on it. And, uh, uh, well, these 50 ohm terminators and these T-junctions which you can still get, they still make them because they're used in like CCTV applications so if you really want to make uh, make a network with your old computers it's pretty easy to get all the equipment for it still seeing as it's still manufactured. As for setting it up there are a couple of ways you can do this. At each end of the network which means you're gonna have a computer with nothing else connected to one side but something connected to the other side you're just going to take your t-junction and a terminator connect your bnc connector to one end and a terminator to the other end and then just plug this into the computer most of the time the network cards will automatically differentiate between whether it's terminated or non-terminated so for example if you had a computer on this end and a computer on the other end for example like this, yes, you can do this. It will automatically differentiate between whether it's in a chain like this, or whether it's actually at the end of a network. However, these switches are a little bit different. For example, this Allied Tennyson Centercom 3016SL actually requires you to change this switch to tell it whether it's uh, like this or like the other one. This is only, well, it's not really even a switch, it's a hub. Most switches are described as being smart, whereas hubs are described as being dumb, because uh, as you can probably see from the collision light there, these, uh, they don't really, they just send packets to every device on the network, whether it re has requested them or not. So you get a lot of collisions, and that's why it needs a switch to differentiate between the end of a network and just a link in the chain. As for actually setting it up, it's not that difficult. Let's grab these, you put the T-junction on, you put a terminator on, and you connect the uh, BNC cable up like that. You just set it up like that. And as for the other side of the network, you pretty much do exactly the same thing. 
terminator, T-junction, coax cable. And you just plug it in like that. Pretty easy. As for the software side of things, it should just sort itself out. I decided to turn on the web server for the first time in a while because that thing is terrible. Um, see if it actually works. If not, I know what to do because uh, it's probably not propagated the web because I haven't had it on for like a month. Actually, let's just... There we go. As you can see, it works, although it, yeah, I've got like a couple embedded videos. <laughs> yep. But as you can see, the network is working and uh, I think the drone is Vogons. If we can go to Vogons. Ah, um, uh, do you want to continue running scripts? Yes. There you go, we've got Vogons. It's kind of broken. <laughs> oh, I should sign in. I should actually sign in and see if... I'm not going to do that. But, uh... Yeah, this used to work better. They've changed it to be more secure, which is kind of a shame. Yeah. Other things we can test is 386server.info Yep, this one works much better, although uh, m maybe maybe not. There we go. Alright, I'd like to set up a 486 machine. <laughs> I have a DX4100 here, uh, but I need a motherboard case and power supply for it. What's with the weird scrolling? It's got like some acceleration to it. That's weird. Yeah, I got the 386 server. This cool dude. Yeah, cool dude. And uh, what else we got? <clears throat> Let's just go to Google, because I know that works. Google. Um, nah, I thought it was Grey Ghost on though. I thought it was. Yay, what else have we got? Yeah, PS2 stuff. Gotta love some PS2 stuff. I swear I had something to do with the Model 95 on there. I'd love to get a Model 95. PS2, there should be a Model 95. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that, that's cool. 200 megahertz Pentium. Wow, that's more impressive than I was thinking about. I thought it would be a 486. Cool. And the last website I usually test is Nathan's Toasty Tech page. Just... Oh yeah. It's just this. And I always find it funny to look at the Internet Explorer evil is, is evil page on Internet Explorer, just because it's ironic uh yeah, it's funny and all of this is going through the uh the network switch over 10 base 2 is it still usable i think so actually actually give me a second i just want to do some let's do some file transferring see how much we can file transfer network neighborhood i just want to just want to transfer a file Entire network. Unable to browse network. Okay. Oh. Let's see if I can um, do this. Yep. I can access the... Of course, that Windows 10 being absolutely god-awful when it comes to networking. Like, it's, it's the worst when it comes to networking. There we go. 
Shed dogs. Let's see what's in here. Have I got anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? No. Nothing in there. What? Uh, so I can't access my main PC, which should just be... Which should just be that. Uh, doesn't work, because Windows 10 networking is terrible. So we're just going to... Fujitsu. Yes, of course, because Windows XP is the best operating system, which is what my server is running on. Really shouldn't be. It should be running Linux or something. Um, we can actually transfer files. So if I share documents, my, uh, for example, my music, I'm just going to copy a new folder. Just win uh, uh, Kazakhstan win nine eight underscore MIDI. Oh, uh, me media. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the media file, which is, it should be, oh, where's the up button? Let's just go to C. C, Windows, uh, it should be um, media. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag, I believe it's like yeah, 1.87 megabytes, not that much, but where we can copy that. Let's see how long this takes. It shouldn't be too slow. Yeah, we're not getting full network utilization. But that wasn't that bad for a megabyte. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's faster than my old internet used to be, so <clears throat> whatever. Now let's play some. Now we can. Actually, should we? Yeah, we'll play off the no, network. Let's play some. Uh... Hmm. Let's play some Passport. Windows 98 is so cool. And for, for Ben, uh, but I know that Ben, Ben likes a bit of Canyon. And this is playing just fine over the network. Best part of the song, but yes, surprisingly enough, it does actually run fine. The even the ten base five network, sorry, ten base two network, it it's still adequate. Like, I it's funny because I have a three hundred megabit connection, fiber connection, and I'm saying, oh yeah, well, ten base two is all right. Ten megabits all you need. Uh, I mean, for a retro computer, oh god, I hate saying that word. I had a gamer's choice. For an old computer, an obsolete computer, which this is, I kind of, uh, it's got its uses. This is all right. And uh, uh, yeah, this is the connection that runs to my main switch, which is over by my main desktop. Actually, it's next to the 2007 machine. But yeah, it's, it's actually all right. I mean, it's not fast, but it's usable. Faster than my old internet. It's almost 4.25. Ben will, ben will appreciate that. Yeah, there it is. 425. 